He kisses another woman without the one in the middle realizing anything. They stop kissing and she turns around, telling her sister to take care of herself and her nephew while she's gone. She says they'll miss her deeply, and she says she'll miss them too. Her boyfriend also tells her he'll miss her, that this is going to be the longest weekend in his life without her there. She finishes her goodbyes, telling them to take care now, that she has to go. They all say their last goodbyes and she starts heading out. I love you. She replies as well. Shall we go in? They don't waste time, they already go back inside the house, but she suddenly remembers that she's missing her wallet, so she'll have to go back. They immediately start kissing each other, having the entire house just for the two of them. Before they go on with their business, he takes off her apparatus, saying that he doesn't like that. They smile, not realizing that they're about to get caught. That's when they hear the gate. She continues on her way back inside, and he puts his poker face on, asking her what happened. She says she came back for her wallet. As she starts walking, she sees the dress she was looking for, and asks him where was it. He says he doesn't know, that her sister found it. She turned back, hiding her belly, saying that she was cleaning the bedroom and found it, so she left it on the counter. She walks towards her sister, but he grabs her by the arm, telling her she should fetch what she forgot, that he'll put the dress away. She nods and leaves. He scolds her for taking her dress to put on her belly, but she says she didn't think her sister would notice it was missing. She's coming back. She tells him that she's going now, and he tells her she should run, that he heard a car outside, so it's probably for her. She says goodbye to her sister and to him as well, and he walks her to the door, telling her goodbye. His visage changes as he closes the door, saying that this was close. They don't know this, but she's standing on the other side of the door, hearing him say that she'll notice in a few months. She tells him to forget this, that they should enjoy their time alone. She decides to leave, and they make themselves busy. She happily greets her sister back. She approaches them, smiling, both of them saying that they missed each other. Her sister says that she missed her terribly, and she says she missed them too. Now that they're together again, she asks her boyfriend to order some food for them. She says she'll go upstairs, take a shower, and that she has a surprise for them. He gives her a half smile, saying he'll order some food for them. Surprise! They're quite nervous about this surprise. Let's make a little surprise. She takes a pregnancy test and marks it. Laughing away. They're sitting down, worrying about this surprise, and she comes back, holding her hands behind her, saying she has the surprise ready. She tells them to close their eyes, and he doesn't feel like it but she says she'll only give it to them if they close their eyes. They close them, and she opens the box, takes the test, and then she announces to them that she's going to have a baby. That her sister is gonna be an aunt. He's quite shocked, and she's radiating, asking him if he's not happy like her. He says he didn't expect this, but he's happy. Her sister forces a smile as well, and as she thanks her partner, someone knocks on the door. He wonders if is it the delivery already. They're not so sure it's that, but he'll get it anyway. She stops him, telling him she'll go and answer. She's pregnant? He gestures for her to be quiet, and she comes back hand in hand with someone else. Her boyfriend asks who's this guy, and she introduces him as the father of her baby. He asks her what is she playing, 
and she says she's not, that he's the father of her child, nice to meet ya. He says that he's her husband, how can he be the father of her baby, yeah, so what, so what? He throws the test away, saying that she comes back to his house, saying that she's pregnant by another man. She tries to calm him down, but she says they met eight months ago, so she had to introduce him to them. He starts freaking out. I have a surprise for you as well. She begs him not to do this, but he shuts her up, telling her that her sister is not pregnant, do you know why she was doing this? Because this was our plan, I'm glad you two enjoyed it. He's shocked. He doesn't know what to do. She comes back with another man and now asks if they enjoyed it. You think you surprised me? Of course. No. She regrets to inform him of that, but she knew it already. She knew they had an affair, she heard everything the day she went travel. Her sister apologizes, and then he does the same. He's actually not the father. Because there's no baby. He's my lawyer. He's here to witness your statements firsthand. He starts smiling. Saying this can't be true, that she's trying to prank him or something. She tells him to be quiet, that she has something else to say. Leave my house right now. You lost everything with this statement. Now please go because this is all mine now. As she opens her mouth, he tells her to wait, saying that the house belongs to him as well, that he'll not leave. She doesn't pay attention to that, so she orders them to leave once more. The lawyer suggests they do it, or else he'll call the police. He tries to ask her why is she doing this, but she raises her voice, telling them that she'll not put up with them anymore, telling them to leave her house, threatening them saying she'll call the authorities. He asks them to go, and her sister regrets what she did, but he doesn't. She starts laughing. He who laughs last laughs best.